Hi, everyone. I'm um, Mickey Pfeiffer with the Center for Open Science. I'm a lead product manager there, um, where our mission is to increase openness, reproducibility, and transparency of scientific research. Um, one of the things that my slides are hopefully going to uh, relate to everyone is sort of where we fit into that research life cycle and obviously our roadmap. Um, this has a lot of information, but what I wanted to relay here is just where we see ourselves fitting into that ecosystem. Um, and I think everybody has their own version of what these little pieces are along that workflow. Um, and where we are focused is around um, our core platform, the OSF, the Open Science Framework, where researchers can come and, and manage their projects, um, discover other public content, develop their ideas, and start their studies. And part of that is um, with our pre-registration workflow, um, where they can start their design, they can pre-register that, they can acquire their materials and begin their data collection back on their OSF project. Um, and we integrate with lots of different storage um, add-ons that help store data, even analyze the data and interpret the findings. And finally, back around to the top of the, of the workflow where they can write um, and publish, and that would be with our pre-prep providers. Um, so uh, here's another, sorry, it's not the best, um, depiction of all of the different tools that we integrate with um, so that you can see how we're trying to fill that collaborative workflow. Um, and as you can't see so clearly at the top, but some of the key ones that have been recently mentioned are Crossref and Datasite, um, where we're using them for DOIs on our public content. Um, and one of the newer things that we'll be integrating with on our preprint servers is an integration with Kronos, so that preprints can be directly uh, transmitted over to publishers um, through the preprint workflow. Um, so here's a quick slide about some of our roadmap items. So specifically on project management, some of the key areas that we're focused on through the latter part of this year and early next year is about UI UX. Um, we've heard uh, lots of our users complain about how um, some parts of our user experience need improvement. And so that is a focus that we're going to be taking on over the next six months. Um, and I'm excited about it. It's been a really fun project to take a lot of the challenges that our users are telling us about and not just try to shove a new fix on the same current page, but really think holistically about what are they trying to accomplish and how can we help them do that. Um, so the other remaining items are more specific feature sets. Um, so storage internationalization, we have researchers that need to store their data in a specific geographic location. And we want to allow them to decide that when they create their project so that it's an easy uh, workflow for them to meet their requirements in the, U in the EU or Canada. Um, custom citation, this is another thing where we have generated, they want to do publication, we want to give them the opportunity to cite as, um, so it's clear to anyone landing on their public content what the citation needs to be. Also file metadata, this is something um, I think we're all interested in is metadata, and we are too. Um, so trying to think of ways that we can start to support the FAIR principles, um, and one of them is to take the files that uh, our researchers are uploading um, and give them an opportunity to use a, a defined schema. The community has defined the, the data site schema and put that against their files so that when you actually go to that file, you can export the file along with the metadata along with it and eventually version that. And um, data site is just the first schema we've chosen to work with, but the, the vision would be that um, multiple schemas could be available for a specific ontology, depending on the discipline or the community needs. Um, and lastly, groups. This is one of the things that um, also our users have brought up, just having the ability to manage um, collaboration more effectively in a group management workflow. Um, for preprints, uh, we, uh, this is sort of a long-term roadmap, um, but some of the areas we're working on is a clear withdrawal for our preprint services um, and integration with Hypothesis that was recently done a couple months ago where preprint providers can turn on the embedded Hypothesis for annotation and have sort of that open review. Um, submission to journal, like I mentioned, um, we're building some, some easy uh, impacts for viewing and downloads of the preprints um, and then eventually we'd like to put um, the opportunity for some peer review working with the Cocoa Foundation on some of their recent development to 
put that as a module on our preprints. Um, the other uh, sort of large area that we're in is um, registration. And so um, some of the big things that we're working on currently are redesigning that interface um, and giving a very easy to follow submission workflow. We've, we've heard that researchers um, don't always clearly know what is a pre-registration of their research and how do they create one. It's not just about the, the form that you complete, the, the questions that you answer, um, but it's also about the files that you upload and that time-stamped immutable version. Um, and adding moderation branding for similar to our preprint servers where registries can be built based on communities or specific forms. Um, and then lastly, um, one of the areas that we're currently sort of in early development on is creating a way for aggregation. So we have lots of projects, public projects on the OSF, um, and sometimes there are key stakeholder groups that want to aggregate that content under one common sort of community or uh, stakeholder. So one of the one of the things that we're working on is, is working with those groups and deciding how we can help collect the metadata, the metadata and surface that aggregation. So um, that's all I have on our roadmap. I'm excited to be here and to talk with each of you about ways we could more formally collaborate.